Hi, and welcome again. So, we're gonna look at another room on Trihagmi while we wait for the advent of Cyber Day 6. So, I found a, an interesting room called Bounty Hacker. It says, you talked a big game about being the most elite hacker in the solar system. All right, <laughs> prove it and claim your rights to the status of elite bounty hacker. All right, so we're gonna become an elite bounty hacker and I already started the machine as you can see. Well, no, that's my IP address on my own box. This is the IP address in the box I'm going to hack and already joined it, already started the machine to save some time. And basically we need to deploy a machine. So complete this and find the open ports so what I'm gonna do now is just to copy paste the IP address like that. Let's do it the most easy way we can do it. So let me just see. Uh, it's the browser, gonna take another window. Oops, there. And let's do a classic nmap scan on the IP address and just press enter. While we wait, we are already done. We're gonna get the three most open ports we can find within the, the most used ports of around thousand different ports we, we're scanning just using the command in map. So, <clears throat> since this room is an easy room, uh, let me just see if I can see right here somewhere. Well, it, it, it is an easy room. Anyways, um, yeah, difficulty easy. Uh, usually in the easy rooms, we do not need to do any shady detection or anything, just run the nmap scan. In most cases, you're gonna get the port you need. So we have three ports open, which is the answer to the question. Uh, yes, uh, so now the real task begins. Who wrote the task list? Task list. So we need to find out this task list. First of all, let's, let's verify whether there is a website running for this IP address. There is a website running, some anime or something. Uh, what we do see is like names like Spike and Jet, but I'm pretty sure that that's the, the characters on the image. Uh, we could also try and right click and view source and, oh, it's pretty plain. Nothing is going on right here. I would say that this is just for display. Nothing to see, nothing to find. You could try and do a directory uh, exploration script, uh, search and, and, and look, uh, use like something like the dearbuster or gobuster. The question is who wrote the task list? So I would like to say that there is a good chance that we could run a gobuster on it, but let's just look at the port list first. We have FTP, SSH and a web server. So first of all, let's try to log in on the FTP server which is gonna be on the IP address. Uh, um, let's just do it one more time. Copy pasting can be diff difficult sometimes. We know how it is. So copy paste, enter and name, no idea. The server is anonymous. Okay, so let's try to do the anonymous login. So exit, quit, goodbye. Let's do the name of anonymous. And all right, so we got a anonymous anonymous login on the FTP server. It is called the VS FTP D 3.0.3. It could be that there was an exploit for it. We could look, we could look for that on exploit DB. But let's just see what we have on the FTP server. As anonymous, we can see stuff like a task. So I guess that's gonna be a task. That text. Let's get it, and let's also get the logs. That txt file. So now we downloaded the two files on the FTP server. What I'm gonna do now is to open the window and just go ahead and take a look at the files we downloaded and. They should be like their task. So let's nano the task. The task. The text, and we see that this is a protect vicious plan for red eye pickup Lin. So the author of the task file is Lin. I 
think that is also the question. So let's write Lin. All right, so Lin is a potential username for the server. Which service can you brute force uh, with the text file found SSH? I would say that is a valid answer because what we got is um, from the port scan. Ah, I'm gonna quit this anyways. We'll just do the port scan again pretty fast. What we got from the port scan were three open ports. The first one was FTP and now we have access to that. But anonymous, anyways, we also have SSH, so we're gonna try and brute force our way through uh, the SSH service. And let's just see what was the other file. Um, what was the name of it again? Totally forgot that. Lux, there we go. So, Lux, and this looks like um, passwords. Usually, when I see stuff like that, if they all were about the same length, containing these dollar signs and stuff, I would think encryption, but or hashing uh, values. But since this is not that, and it does say red dragon and syndicate dragon. It looks like password to me. So what I'm going to try to do is you know, clear the screen. I'm going to try and do a an access uh, a brute force using Hydra. And we do have the username of Lin and the password list would be Lux. And let's say the IP address, we have it. Ah, uh, damn. Um, yep. Uh, Hydra build in password locks. Um, let's copy paste the IP address. That should do it. And uh, no, mm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, SSH should write that, enter. So now that we're gonna make it run, let's see what happens using Hydra, trying to brute force our way through. While that runs, let's go ahead and see what is the user's password. All right, so we need to, so we got a, we got a match. It should be Red Dragon Syndicate, funny enough, the one we kinda almost, used as a guess, so it's gonna be that, paste it in, and we have a hit. And now we are tasked to get a flag, it seems, by the user and the and the root. So let's try and just open a, a text editor, and we're gonna have the password and the username, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do something. Um, and forget about it. So let's do clear screen and do SSH, lin, add that. Ah, typical, there we go again. This is clear, search lin, and then this very interesting password. Let's see, delete, enter, boom. Could not resolve. Oh. It's very normal by me to forget the right order. The IP address, Lin, and now we're gonna say yes to fingerprinting, and the password would be. Now I have the same problem again, copy pasting from a text editor as I had mentioned in an earlier video. Let's put it into the there. I'm gonna copy paste it from the console like this, going back, put it in here, and entering, and now we are locked in to the machine with the user, Lin, who am I, who, ID is fine, so we are the user, Lin, and we have a flag in user.txt, let's take it, so it's called, uh, try hack me, crime, oops, syndicate, 
come on, you can do it. There we go, copy pasting. 40 years of experience, you should think that I already knew how to do that, but no. <laughs> so let's see the root flag now. So now we're gonna look for particular stuff, clear, thank you. So sudo l. Uh, let's just copy paste the password one more time. Boom, boom. And do we get anything for that? Okay. Let's do it one more time. Red dragon, copy, paste. So there we go. So we're looking for what do the user lin have access to? As a root user, we can run something called bin ta. And this is just exactly what I'm going to look for. So let's go to the uh, DGFO bins. So let's open that. Let's see. DGFO bin, GitHub. A page is really good for uh, binary exploitation to, to, to get a private escalation. So the tar file. Let's pick it. And was it correct? It was tar. It was tar. So let's see. We can get a shell. Um, many different ways. File write, file upload, file read, sudo. So this should be the one. Let's see, sudo tar cfh. This let's run it. So there we go. And id and boom be root. So ls user cd ls slash home lin. What was it I needed to supply the root dot okay, we're going to access the root folder and do the cat of root dot text and there we have it the bounty hacker flag we're gonna copy paste that and put it into the submit and now we're done congratulations all right so this room was a very normal standard easy room on try hack me where we are tasked to do different things like we we have a server we scan it for open ports then we try to access some of the services of course you could say but who have a nemesis login on the ftp server and who would leave a file containing all the passwords i know it's an easy room but sometimes people are stupid so i'd like to say that uh, by knowing all, all these kind of things, you also know what to say to your employee, saying like, don't do that, do this, do that, don't do that. So, yeah, I would like to say that it gives you a certain amount of awareness around the fact what is you going to do and not to do when you're setting up a server. So, I hope you like this video. I'm going to turn it room while we at it. And if you like the video, I hope you'll, you will subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Until next time, bye bye.